Okay. So, um, last one I showed you guys a cosecant graph, right? And it was very similar to your sine graph. Well, tangent and cotangent are going to be a little bit different, right? And we talked about the shape of their graph looks different, and also their period is going to be a little bit different. So, we're not going to have an amplitude. Uh, remember the amplitude now, that number in front, that A, that's just going to shape kind of like you're stretching and you're compressing of your graph. But obviously, it's not going to restrict the height because a tangent graph goes infinitely up and infinitely down um, to ne negative infinity. However, we are going to have to figure out what our period is. And instead of a period being 2 pi, our period is now pi. And what we're also going to have to do is we're going to have a tangent graph, just like a cosecant graph, is going to have asymptotes. So we need to remember what our original asymptotes are. And then from those original asymptotes, we need to figure out what our new asymptotes are. So the first thing, let's figure out the period. So remember, period is going to be pi over b. So if you can remember for tangent, cotangent, a, um, your period is going to be pi over b. I thought it was just pi. No, it's, yeah, it's pi over b. Well, for the parent graph, it's just pi, right? For the parent graph, it's pi. But what happens is we have a transformation. You know, we have a transformation going on. We're multiplying. If you just look at this, tangent of x, that's your parent graph, right? The period of that is pi. But what happens is, if I say now I'm going to multiply x by pi and then divide it by 4, I'm changing what my graph looks like, right? So now we need to, we need to include those into finding the new period. So that's why I would say pi divided by b. So if I look at what is my pi divided by b? Well, remember b is your number that's in front of your x. So that's going to be pi. And since pi is divided by 4, my b is pi divided by 4. So I have pi divided by pi divided by 4. So to get rid of a fraction on your denominator, multiply by the reciprocal. And pi's cancel out. And now we have a period of 4. All right? So the other thing you need to remember about when we talked about our, our parent graph, it has a period of pi. The other thing we need to remember, and I'll just maybe draw a little quick graph of it. Um, Remember the parent graph has two asymptotes. Asymptotes are negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Okay, Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to be graphing tangent and cotangent, you're going to have to know that for tangent, your two asymptotes are at negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. You're going to have to have that memorized. Okay, Just like you have to know that the period for the parent graph is going to always be pi over b, you also have to know that the parent graph, the two asymptotes, are negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Because now what happens is we need to know that those two are for the parent graph because what we're going to do is I need to figure out what are these transformations of multiplying by pi and dividing by 4, what did that do to my graph? So what I do is I take my two asymptotes and I set it equal to my function. So here are my two endpoints of my original endpoints. And now here are my two, um, what my function, my transformations are. Here's are my two endpoints. Here's my parent graph. That's my parent graph. My parent graph is just tan of x, right? That is my parent graph. Nothing, nothing's happened to tan of x. For just tan of x, my graph looks like this. It, there's an asymptote at negative pi over 2, and there's an asymptote at pi over 2, right? We're good with that. Well, we'll look at what our new graph, we're now saying pi times x divided by 4. Our asymptotes are not going to be negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 anymore. They're going to be changed. How are they going to be changed? What's going to happen to them? Well, I don't know right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my old asymptote and set it equal to my function, okay? If you guys took your parent graph, what all, all you're saying is negative pi over 2 equals x and pi over 2 equals x, right? These are x values. Your asymptotes are x values. Those asymptotes is your x value, right? Well, if I'm doing something to my x value, I'm multiplying by pi and divided by 4, i got to set them as equations. So now let's solve for x and see what happens. So to get rid of this, I need to multiply by the reciprocal. 
So to multiply by our sieve call, do 4 over pi on both sides. Um, my pi's will cancel out, and here I'll be left with a negative 2 equals x. Here when I multiply by 4 over pi, um, pi's cancel out, and I'm left with x equals 2. <clears throat> Is everybody following me so far? Yeah. Good. So now my new two asymptotes are at negative 2 and 2. Okay, so let's see what that would still look like. <clears throat> so we don't have to use it in terms of pi, which is cool. We're going to say negative 1, negative 2, 1, 2. So now I'm going to make an asymptote at negative 2 and an asymptote at 2. My graph, my graph didn't shift at all, right? There's no left or right. Right? There's no C or D, so I didn't shift up or down. So simply my graph is still going to cross, look something like that. Okay, Like I said, I'm not going to get into finding these other points right now. I just want to make sure you guys have your graph. Um, so now if that's one period. So we need to figure out what's our next period. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you see this crosses at 2, right? our next period is, our period is um, 4. four. Right? So you can take a look at it. Let's see if that works. Is our period 4? 1, 2, 3, 4. Very cool. So where do you think our next asymptote is going to be? Just add 4 more to it. 1, 2, 3, 4. Which is at what? 6? So then you just do another vertical asymptote. So if this is at 0, my next period is to add 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, because remember we took pi divided by b. Oh. Okay, so have any of you general questions on that? How many of you have I'm just asking usually for two periods. Okay. Yeah. 